Hey guys, Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back to my building tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a watchtower and a wall. So, if you follow this tutorial, you could build like a really gigantic wall around where you live if you wanted to with all watchtowers around it. So, it's kind of like a barbarian styled watchtower, I guess that's what you could call it, or something like that. It's probably the closest thing that you could say about it. So yeah, it looks pretty cool, um, pretty fence excessive on it as well, which is which I like about it. And it's got this little door you can come in here, a fence up to the top. I mean, not a fence up to the top, a ladder up to the top. Then you've got this nice view over here, you can see a lot of things. I'm pretty surprised how much you can see from up here. Also, there's my uh, dock over there from the last tutorial. Uh, there'll be a link at the end of the video if you want to go build that. So I'm going to go into my building world right now and teach you how to build this. So I'll see you in a little edit cut. Bye. <laughs> so what you're going to need is logs. This can be any type you want. I wouldn't recommend birch just because it's white and it won't look good. You need fence, wooden planks. I recommend the planks that your logs make just so it matches colour. Same with these wooden half slabs. You need fence and then you're just going to need some gravel to put down on the floor. Um, I just thought about doing this so it would be easy for you guys to follow the tutorial. So what we're going to do is dig out a 5x5 five five hole in the ground. So that's 5 wide there. 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. So it should be 5x5 five five like that. Fill that hole in with gravel. Now in the corners of the gravel you want to place a wooden plank, wooden log facing upwards. Then in the middle of every side except for this front one you want to put a log facing up. Now in between all these logs here, except for the front, you want to place a log going sideways like that facing so you can't see the tops or the bottoms should be just the side of sides of the logs. At the front here, um, right of this left one, you want to go up one, two, three, and then the left of this right one, one, two, three, and at the top here place a log going sideways so you can't see the tops or the bottom of it. Now what we're going to do is the support beams. So on on the corner of, or on every um, block that you can see the top here you want to go up eight so when you go one two three four five six seven eight on this one we're going to go up eight and then you want to do that for the rest of them so I'm just going to do a little time or we'll just fast forward this here so you guys don't have to watch me doing this all should be pretty self-explanatory as well Also at this middle one here you want to put that going up so it reaches the height of the other support beams. Now at the bottom layer of the beams you want to place a fence in between all of them like that. Then you want to leave a space and then do that again. So like so. Leave another space, do that around again. And then the last one, another space, and then put the fence around it. Now I forgot to just put this in. Um, if you go through the door right now and you hit this block right here, you just want to destroy all the fence there and um, logs, and then just put um, planks going right to the top there, at the same level as the fence like that. Now go down to the bottom and just put fence going right along to the top of it, like so. Now the next thing that you want to do is get out your logs and then place them on every corner of the support beams like that. Now in between them you want to place the logs going sideways so you can't see the tops of the bottoms and it should be just the sides of the logs. Do that all around it. 
Now in the corners again you just want to raise it one more up with the logs facing upwards. Now you want to put a floor in for this top bit so you're just going to put wooden planks like that and then just remember to leave a hole for the ladders and then just put another ladder there so you can actually get up. Now in between all these logs put fence like that so you can't fall off. Now on the corners of the top here you want to do two fence high like that stacked on top of each other. Now, oops. now for the roof you want to get your half slabs and put them um, conjoining joining to each of the corners like that. Fill the hole in there and you want to make it kind of like a pyramid so it would go to the next level like that and fill it in there and then just one in the middle like so. Now that is, I'm pretty sure that is it for the watchtower and now I will get onto the wall. Hopefully that was easy to build the watchtower, just restart if you want to um, watch it again just to make sure you done er did everything right. So now I'm going to start building the wall. So what you are going to need is the same materials before except for the ladder and the gravel. So what you want to do is go to one of your sides of your tower, I'm going to be going to the right side and you should find the two sideways logs there. Um, so we're going to bring a sideways log coming out in a variable of 3. So I'm going to make mine 9 long but you can make it like 12 long, 15 long because all those numbers are a var variable of 3. So I'm just going to go mine, I'll do yeah, my 9 long so I've done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and on the last one you want a block facing to the front sideways like that and I do that to the other side so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on the last one block, block facing sideways to the front and in the middle of these you want to put a log facing up you want to get your fence out and put it around the tops of these logs right back to the start. Now we're going to add in support beams every third fence, so 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And this is what I was talking about, a variable of 3. If you don't do a variable of 3, you could have like a gap, kind of a one space, and then you could have like 2 here, and it won't look even, so make sure it is a variable of 3. And you guys should know maths as well, it's pretty simple, three times tables, kind of. Now we're going to add in the top section of the wall. So you want to destroy these fence over here and then on this middle one here you want to put a block facing sideways like that, facing to the front, and you want to make, um, put logs either side of it facing upwards. Let me just quickly change the time of the day. And now what you want to do is bring out the logs right to the end facing sideways, copying this exact bit here. And then on the last one, you just want the lot in the corner here facing up. Same with this one here, up and then in between a sideways log. Now do this to the other side, sideways log coming right out to the end here and then joining that block there. Now on the top of this again, you're going to put fence around the whole thing. And then for the floor of the wall, you want to put wooden planks in between these logs here. And that is it for the wall and this whole tutorial. So hopefully this has been easy to follow. Um, I think I tried, did my best explaining all of it as well. So I'd appreciate appreciate if you guys leave a like because I do put a lot of effort into these tutorials. If you'd like to see or if you have any suggestions for tutorials, please comment below and I'll take them into consideration and possibly build them. So again, watch this if you didn't uh, fully under watch it again if you didn't fully understand it. 
and yeah um, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys for a another building tutorial so that is it for this tutorial I hope you've learned how to build this um, if you haven't just rewatch the video and then you'll probably understand it um, just one more thing if you want to add the tower to this end bit here um, this column here is exactly the same as this column here so if I was going to add a tower I would put a block facing there three spaces 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 and then this is just the support beams and then just practically um, copy that exactly and put it on that side there so I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any suggestions for building tutorials, I would love it if you leaved a comment below. Um, I would appreciate a like because I do put a lot of effort into these and it kind of goes to a waste if no one likes it. And subscribe if you want to see more as well and keep updated with all my tutorials and videos as well. So I'll see you guys next time for another video. And yeah, bye guys.